Hey, what's up, everybody? BZM here. Welcome to a game called Life and Times of John O'Connell. John O'Connell is an old writer whose memory is starting to leave him. So he's looking for diaries uh, so he can read about his younger days and try and remember who he is. Oh, John, where are you? There you are. Okay, so... Chapter 1 Of Youth and Innocence, okay? So, John is 87. He can't remember much about his life. He lives in a big town, but he never goes out. Lost in his books, his music, his movies, and his memories. He was looking for some diaries he wrote when he was young. But he can't find them. Would you mind to help him? Okay. Okay, now there. Okay, there you are. Oh, okay, that's... Oh, how do I know this stuff? Ooh. Douglas Adams. That's it. Lord of the Rings. So, 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 right, what happened? Oh, okay. Wait a minute, I gotta. Oh, there it is. There's what? This is from 1955 when I was 18. Oh! Did I find a clue already? That was the time when I started writing, when I started talking to myself, thinking about stories to write. Okay. When I understood that, maybe writing could have been my job. That was the time when I met her. Okay, hold on. Well, I'm going back inside. It was another summer afternoon. When the hours go by so fast that you can't even count them. Hey. So, so we'll meet again this Saturday? Yes. We can come here. I mean, if you want to. You can pick me up in the afternoon, okay? Okay. And that, that was the first time we met. Let's find the other diaries. Okay, watch, awesome. I found one already. So, um, so we go, nothing over here. I probably have to go upstairs, don't I? Right, let's go over here. Yeah, there might be a diary over here, no? In the fridge? Okay, oh, it's always not here. <laughs> let's go to the store and get some food. <laughs> I hope you're gonna run it all with shift button on the end. No. What? I can't go upstairs? Oh. Wait, yeah, here we go. Wait, did I? Okay, here. I think I went past. I think I missed it. Oh, Clive Cussler. Oh, okay. 
think I missed the floor when I went up the stairs. I'm not sure. There it is. Oh, what? We started to see each other more and more. We liked each other like only teenagers can do. She was smart, kind, beautiful. Movie Theater, 1955. Maybe we should go. The movie is about to start. Yes, we will go first, but can you explain something to me? Sure. Why are you always writing? Yesterday we were in your room and I've never seen so many notebooks in my life. What are you working on? Well, actually it's nothing. I mean, can we go now? Come on, please tell me. It's a project that I'm working on, different projects. There's nothing important than... Okay, listen. Now we can go and see the movie, okay? Sorry about that. Up. Don't worry about it, it's not your fault. It's small. Oh, it's a book. Oh, a book. A book. Do, do you think it sounds stupid? Of course not. What is it about? Well, we really should go to the theater and see the movie. And by the way, it's nothing important. I don't think I will actually finish it. Why not? Because it's always like this. I start something, work on it, and suddenly I'm all out of ideas and I let the project die. Yeah. Wait, what if instead of going to see a movie, we go in, we go to the park so you can tell me a story? Wait, wait, which story? Choose one. I will listen and tell you if it's stupid and we can work on it together. Okay, you really want to listen to one of my stories? As soon as possible. Can we go now? It was the first time I let someone else read one of my stories. It's a big deal. You know? I've heard of so many artists that never let anyone around what they do. That's because they're afraid. Afraid of what people might say. Afraid of being judged. I was always too scared. Now I see that if I'd kept all my stories for myself, I would never have achieved anything. That day we stayed in the park for many hours. She was reading page after page, all the stuff I had wrote. It was like there was nothing around us. No sounds, no one. And I clearly remember that day as one of the most beautiful of my entire life. That kind of day that you remember in every little detail. All that useless stuff that you keep remember even after so many years. The shoes she was wearing. Her necklace. Her dress. How afraid I was. What if she thinks I'm weird? What if she doesn't like me? For many hours we were strangers, but then that day, I just sit in there reading all my stuff. If there's a way to get inside of me, it was that one. That day she became exactly what I was searching. There's four, okay. So, I'm tired. What time is it? Oh, um, that time? Oh, midnight. Oh, crap, yeah. The moon is just like that night. Oh, barely visible through the autumn's clouds. We had birds singing that night. Now I have these car screams. We had little fireflies lighting up the night. Now I have these concrete bonfires that never go out. Good night.
Time to make breakfast. Okay. Well, I'm going to guess. I'm going up here to do that. Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, okay, here. Yeah. Well, go back down, my friend. We'll go up one more. Cause that, that'd be that for you yeah, now. Okay, yeah, we have to go up two, I think. Here, go up one more. Oh, no, this way. <laughs> okay, here. Go over here. No. Oh, okay, you want to see? I can't look for any more diaries at the moment. Okay, so we gotta go back down then. Okay, we're doing our thing to do the test on this. Uh, well, I don't want that. Okay, uh, over here. I was going the wrong way to go downstairs. There. Here. Our food in there. Milk. Milk. There it is. There we go. Now we're cooking. Ah, chapter 2. On decisions and future. Days were passing so fast it was unreal. We were becoming adults. Suddenly all the problems, the bad days, friends, grades of high school were so distant we couldn't see them. It seemed like a different time that wasn't our anymore. We were both studying and working. Sugar, she was studying journalism and I was working at a small restaurant. I was helping my father at the sawmill while still working on my stupid book. I never had time to work on it. I became more and more nervous because I felt like I was losing my opportunity to write my book. Biscuits. This was destroying our relationship. She kept asking me to go out, have a dinner together, a breakfast, anything. And I kept forgetting. And I kept leaving her alone. I still have the last diary in my pocket. Maybe it will help me remember what happened next. They lived this house, so. Oh. You've been working so hard lately. Yes, this is a big project. I've been working on it for almost a year now. And when will I read it? Soon, I hope. I sent one in my book, that story about spacemen alone in a space station, to a publisher. And you want me to be next Saturday in Nashville. I will be there Friday night and stay there until Sunday. Oh. What? Do you remember why next Saturday is important? Oh, it's our anniversary. Listen. Do what you think is the right thing. Maybe it's a great opportunity. And just like many other times, it felt like I was somewhere else. In a way that I only feel when I'm writing. Linda, what should I do? Stay here with you? Or go away and follow my dreams? And what if my dreams lead to nothing? Or maybe this is the right time. I can't remember what happened next. How it happened. Why, I can't remember anything. We were, we were together, I think.
I remember her dress. I remember. But then. I need to sleep. Just a little. Maybe. I still got so many pictures on this thing. If only I can remember the password. The Alzheimer's disease. Something inside. A small piece of paper. One nine six one one. Oh, I forgot that. I took to Paris. The one in Madrid. And that one time in London. John, oh, we need to talk about this. I know we're doing well. I love this house and everything out here, but you need to work less. You can't keep doing this. I'm sorry, but you can't keep doing things like this on apologies later, hoping everything will be alright. I have a deadline next week. You know how much I need to finish this book. John? What day was yesterday? It was June 19th. Woo woo. Listen. We need some time to go away. We need some days alone. Maybe we can go to the beach for this weekend. I must finish the book. If I miss a deadline, maybe they will. They what? You want at least one week every year since you started working. This is insane. You can't. Why can't you just this? Ask for a delay. It doesn't work like this. I can't ask them to delay. Not even for us. Us. What should I do? My contract says that if I miss even one deadline, I will be fired. But maybe she's right. I'm working too much. But this is what I'm living for. I write so many stories in my bedroom hoping that one day I could make this my work. And I'll let me actually give it all up for her. And I'll let me actually just give it all up. Oh, um. I became one of the greatest writers in the world. I remember that. My books were translated in over 40 languages. I bought a nice car, a nice house, and it was so big. I can't remember why I bought a house that big. She, was she with me? I can't remember how. Maybe I should go to bed. Where am I? That's strange. Time passes so fast. You know that? 
if you ever think about all the choices you made in your life, look back and think, yeah, I could have done something different. I do sometimes. I think about school, about work, about life, about everything I want to change, about all the things I could have done differently. Was it worth it? Maybe you have one last choice to make. How are you, John? We meet again. Emerson, hey, what the hell? You know what happens if you lose, right? No. And I should have another rose. Oh, damn, okay. <coughs> yeah, I didn't know it was going to be a tiger. Oh, this magic? I'm a magic toy. Oh, no, I'm not having so I can't do that. So I, oops, I can only do it. Okay, that's still help. Okay, who's... Oh, she is. Um, I should probably just run because he's got way too much health. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got too much. Can I run? Let me see if I can run. I can't. Well, I've got magic points, but I don't know magic I can. Okay, that's just too good. That took a long, long time for it. So, once again, you won. We will, we will meet again. Okay, there's something for you in the shed outside of your house. Where do you get going? Okay. The shed. Now I remember. Okay. Um, is it gonna. I'm uh, guessing this just go outside? Okay. The shed. Oh, wow. Nice place you got here. Yeah, go inside. There it is. What? There's what? There's what? Come on, I must tell her. She must know. Okay. You're finally here. Where did you park the car? Linda, listen. What? Are you okay? There's something I must tell you. You're scaring me, John. I went to see a doctor last week. Took some exams. What? I've got a problem in that. A problem that I don't know if I can deal with. I've got a disease. Alzheimer's disease. I can't remember anything. Did she stay with me when she died? I need all the diaries to remember. I never thought that this could ever happen to me. We were so young. I was so strong. Now I'm weak as a leaf. And this disease is like a river I fell in. I can't remember anything. 
not even about the other diaries. How many times does this happen? How many times have I searched for those old diaries? Maybe I should just go to bed. Okay. Good night. First floor, okay. Wait, oh what? There's something under the pillow. What is it? What letter? Ooh. Has already been opened. Oh, Linda. Okay, oh. Oh. Dear John, I know if you don't if you don't remember anything, I know that you keep going around the house looking for those diaries all day. I know that your gene stuff that never happened because those things didn't happen. Please trust me. Maybe you even started thinking again. I wrote this letter so you can always always read about what happened to your life. When you don't remember, just like you did with your diaries. Your disease was a really big boulder we brought home. We carried this boulder with us for many years together. You never left me alone when I needed. In your life, all you ever did was right. You wrote a more series of successful books, earned you a lot of money, enough money for a lifetime. The time we spent together was the best I could ask for. We started traveling around the world when I discovered your disease. We saw so many cities, tasted so many foods, and listened to so many songs together. Until we were tired in this old house, I'm sorry for not being around anymore. I just want you to know that even when things were complicated, I always wanted to be there with you. Even when we were fighting, I wanted to be there. That I loved with all my days. And now that I'm here writing this letter, knowing that I'll be gone soon, the memories is all I have. The memories I have is the best gift I could ask. Thanks for your adventure. Thanks for your time you dedicated to me, to us. I love you. Goodbye until we see each other again. Always yours, Linda. Love, lovely, very nice. Very nice letter. When well, I thought I was under his pillow for it, it was already open, so he had to have read it at some point. He just doesn't remember. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, thank you, Linda. Oh. We're not done yet. Hey. Hey. Uh. I like how the water's moving, and we're not talking. Hey, you two, wake up. My hair back to move. Oh, oh, okay. I guess that's the end of the game. Is it? Okay. Thanks for playing. I guess it is. So uh, that was interesting. Apparently, I thought about diaries and revisited everything enough to kind of get my memory back. So, oh, oh, so that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging around, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night.